Morning, welcome to the shed or the garden. Um, today we're going to be finishing off the granddad's bench. I've uh, completed the back piece and I think you've probably already seen the video of me making the main bench. Um, yeah, so we're going to assemble that today. I'm going to paint the legs on the bench. So first job is to take it apart. I'm going to attempt to film it outside uh, but there's quite a lot of rook noise and also traffic noise so we'll see how we go. Okay, let's do it. So I resorted to hacksawing my way through the bolts. The wood's so rotten I couldn't get any turn on them. And uh, I tried getting the spanner in there and they're pretty much seized solid. So I've hacksawed the ones off the back and now I'm doing, gonna do the, the base. Whew, hard work this, it's supposed to be an easy job. Pick the hottest day so far this year, bad idea. I'm going to use the uh, old bits of wood to lay out my holes on the new bits, that's the idea. Okay, that's five out of eight. Over halfway, that's always a good feeling. This one's a bit tricky, I can't really get to this one. Oh, that one looks like it might come undone. Well, oh, that's a result. Yay, that is a result. Oh, that's brilliant. So three out of four of those came out easily, mainly because the thread wasn't exposed to the rust, so they turned quite easily. Okay, let's separate it. That's one of the legs. If anyone's got any idea where these came from, uh, let me know, because they're quite interesting. Must be some kind of municipal bench, I think. Proper heavy duty cast iron. Um, on that note, there's a couple of photos coming up uh, of a bench in the garden where these were found. Uh, this first one is of uh, Tom, who was my uh, wife's granddad, or Tide, as they say in Wales, um, sitting on a bench. I don't think it's this one. But the second one, this one, is an artist called Bernard Slay. And he's sort of reasonably well known. I think he's a West Country artist. I don't know what he was doing in Wales. Apparently he was a bit sweet on my wife's uh, auntie. Bit of an age gap though so uh, yeah I don't know how that works anyway so this photo what do you think is that this bench it looks like it might be but something not quite right I'm gonna pretend it is okay it does come from the same house so there's no reason why it shouldn't be okay so that's the old and new together uh, I'm going to I hope you can see that it's probably a bit shiny all seems like a good idea filming in the sun it's actually a nightmare much better on a cloudy day Okay, so I'm going to lay one over the top of the other and uh, mark out the holes or drill straight through to do my holes. Like so. I have actually got some coach bolts, which is good. That saved me a few pounds. Whether one drills up to it, I don't know. Doesn't sound like it is. Okay, that's the holes marked. Go all the way through. Found a 
not there, I think. wasn't quite so clean. Never mind, the bolt will cover that up. It says hopefully. Just had a little thought. I'm not going to drill the back until I've got the main piece fitted just in case it doesn't line up properly. I think that's sensible. Okay let's clean these legs. Okay let's get these assembled. So I have got a couple of bits that I've missed with my paint but I've run out of paint so I'll have to touch it up later. Okay. So, okay, that one lines up. I've already managed to uh, mark the bench top with the leg, but I can sand that back, that'd be okay. Okay, let's bolt it up. Okay, that turned out really nice in the end. Uh, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Part of the problem is that the, uh, uh, the legs are not symmetrical, so you have to, has to be a bit rustic, which is kind of the effect I was going for, so happy with that. Uh, my wife doesn't like these silver buttons, as she calls them, so we're gonna have to do something about that. There you go, that's that done. I hope she likes it. I'm not convinced, uh, but it keeps her happy. Uh, it does at least match the, the legs. Okay, um, thanks very much for watching. Yeah, sorry it was a bit bitty with the uh, filming. Had a bit of trouble with my camera, it was overheating. I keep forgetting, don't film on hot sunny days. It's, it feels like a good thing to do, but it's not a good thing to do. It's too bright, everything's too hot and sweaty and horrible. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you hang around for a few seconds, I'll play you out on the old banjo uke. See you soon.